Welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to find uh, a formula for the Laplace transform for f of t over t in terms of the Laplace transform for f of t. Yeah? Okay, and this, the Laplace transform for f of t over t is useful, among other things, in uh, evaluating improper integrals. Now, let's begin by uh, reminding ourselves that the Laplace transform for f of t by definition is equal to this here and let's call it f of u. Yes, I know normally we call it f of s where this here instead of a u is an s and therefore this here is an s but uh, for reasons you'll see shortly let's go with um, f of u as uh, the Laplace transform of f of t. Now let's consider the integral from s from s to infinity of f of u du. So that means that we write this here. Now notice that since we have f of u is this integral here, uh, what we can do is instead of f of u here, we can put this integral in black, yeah? So that means that we write this here. And of course, uh, we have right now the integral from s to infinity of f of u and we need du, yeah? Okay, so let's put du in red as it was. Okay, now uh, we have a double integral. So we can, if we so choose, uh, change the order of integration. That is, swap uh, where dt and du appear, and therefore swap these limits of integration also. So if we do that, then this is what we'd get. Now, notice that in this order of integration, what we have to do is integrate with respect to u first. And so this here is a constant, f of t. And this minus t here is also a constant. So we're doing uh, basically the uh, integral of e to the minus ut, uh, and then keeping in mind constants. And so if we do that and evaluate from s to infinity, then we'd have to write this. All right, again, taking care of uh, that first uh, integral with respect to u, right? And so it's going to be e to the minus ut divided by minus t, right? So let's put the negative right there and then the t. Uh, okay, cool, cool. And again, we have to evaluate from s to infinity. And of course, we have to keep all constants from this integral. And so f of t, as we already said, is a constant, so we have to keep it and then evaluate from, as we said, s to infinity. Now, uh, if we plug in infinity in quotation marks, if we plug in infinity here, for u, what we're going to get is e to the negative uh, infinity, right? And therefore, that's going to 0. And then we'll have minus uh, negative and therefore plus plugging in s, right? Okay, so you should know how the evaluation should go, but first we need to write dt there, right? Okay, so let's do that. And uh, again, as we said, f of t is constant. So if we plug in uh, infinity in there, right, we're going to get 0. And then when we plug in s, we do minus from the evaluation theorem, but there's a minus here, so it's going to be plus. And so what we get is going to be 0 to infinity. This here is that there, right? And then the evaluation is going to lead us to write the evaluation will have us right e to the minus s t right times f of t divided by t oh wait and then dt this here by definition is the laplace transform for f of t over t so this is the laplace transform for f of t over t and therefore we see that the laplace transform for f of t over t in terms of the laplace transform for f of t is going to be this equaling that there. So the formula is uh, this here is equal to that there. Yeah? Okay, so uh, in the next video I'll make, I'll show you how to use this formula for the Laplace transform of f of t over t uh, being equal to this to uh, do an improper integral. Yeah? Specifically the improper integral uh, that is the integral from 0 to infinity of sine x over x dx. Yeah? Alright, cool. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.